Bites! Hey guys, what's up? I'm Joe. And I'm Remy. And we're here for the first episode of Boise Bites. We are at? At Lemon Tree Co. in downtown Boise on 10th and Bannock. They serve sandwiches, is that right? Yeah, like traditional, not so traditional, funky sandwich combinations. Um, and we went ahead and picked up a few alongside some sides. And we're going to head up to? Table Rock. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's go. You say that life is a joke, sneaking out back just to light up a smoke. Crowds will be taking you home tonight, the trunks will be driving you home tonight. Quick on your feet, you got nothing to lose. Your charm is a weapon and your mind is abuse. There's one in the chamber and you're gripping it tight. One in the chamber and your knuckles are white. And she's staying out late, wasting her days. Waking in new sheets, then heads to her place. Pull up a seat like there's time to kill. Slipping you lace like it pays the bill. Ladies and gents, this is what it's all about. Good food, good views, good people, good company. Good flies. Good flies. Hanging around. <laughs> all oh. right, so what'd you order? I got the, um, shoot. The Camaro? The, uh, the Camaro, <laughs> not quite a car. The it's Cadillac? A sandwich. Um, let's go over yours first, I'll pull it on. Okay, yeah, so I got the, um, the Bon Me, but I got it vegan style. So you can get um, some of their, about half their menu is vegan and or vegetarian, and you can alter it to your preferences. Um, and then they have another menu that's just Omni. Um, but yeah, this is the Bon Me, it's vegan. Um, and it has their house made spicy peanut butter. Ooh. It's a very interesting sandwich. It's a Vietnamese mm -hmm. sandwich style. So. Mm -hmm. And then they have their roasted garnet yams. Um, and then they also have a carrot slaw, jalapenos, cucumber, and a Dijon mustard. Mm. So it's got a lot of interesting flavors going on, but it's like slightly sweet and you got that spice. It's really good if you're kind of a sweet and savory kind of person, which, okay. yeah. I'm about that. It's uh, a hot sandwich as well, so. Ooh, hot. So on the other hand, <laughs> I got a cold one and it is the Carmella. It has ham, Genoa salami, fontina, pesto, jalapeno, Dijon aioli house marinated Italian veggies and greens. Mm. So That's not the only cold one you got. You got some going on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, on the way up, I picked up this CBD sparkling water tangerine at Thomas Hammer. Nice. Another uh, local Boise spot coffee. And I devoured my iced chai in the car because it's so good. You just, just can't. Once you start, it's over from there. Yeah. <laughs> so I have yet to bite in. Let's hear that. Yeah. I May have started before we started filming. <laughs> 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 I got excited. Mm. Oh, you like? I like. Anything with pesto is a ten in my book. Yeah, I can instantly. The pesto just hits me right off the bat. Is it very basil forward or? <laughs> I can definitely taste some basil. It's like a little bit of that Italian like pizza vibes coming in. Mm. Um, That's good. Texture's great. Yeah. So I have been to Lemon Tree many a time, but you haven't. Mm, first time. So first, first impressions, first I know you've only, you're about a bite in, but. Mm. Where does it rank on your sandwich scale, if you have one? Mm. I've had a few cold sandwiches in my day, and this is definitely hitting, hitting above the, above the belt. Oh, nice. It's a little bit higher than you, your average deli sandwich. Yeah. Um, Hitting above the belt. <laughs> mm. Hitting right at the muffin top. It, mm. <laughs> I mean, it has like the ham and salami and like a, and like some provolone. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. 
So it's like standard, but like it has the the pesto, it has the aioli to give it a little extra smack, mm -hmm. a little extra flavor. Yeah, so Lemon Tree's like slogan is like they serve up specialty lemonades and sandwiches with a twist. So I'm definitely getting that twist in both. I'm getting both the twist. These. It's um. You want to take a hit of that, yeah. brother? <laughs> hit. Brother. Oh, it's like La Lacroix. Yeah, it's very much like Lacroix. Uh, how's your sandwich hitting? It's good. It's spicy. I'm getting the spice right now. Getting the spice, brother. I know. <laughs> okay, Hulk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, it's spicy. Um, the uh, jalapenos and peanut butter are hitting hard, mm. but it's very good. The bread's super are they, crispy. Are they hitting above the below belt? Or are they playing dirty? Are they hitting below? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think it's above the belt. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot in the throat area. Throat. Yeah. Throat. <laughs> throat. <laughs> yeah. Um, throat and lips. Uh, tip for people who like spicy food: don't lick your lips. That's a world of pain and hurt in your future. <laughs> no, for for I forget. Your side. I saw it. We both got sides. Mm -hmm. I got a tomato, a creamy tomato to basil bisque. Basil bisque. I think that's what it is. You got a lot of basil going on. A lot of basil action. Um, I'm gonna good. take a little slurpy, slurpy. <laughs> Hope. Uh, Do you drink your listen? soup? Are you a drinking soup kind of person? I drink it at the end because you got it. Gotcha. But okay. The, ooh, heavy, heavy on the herbs. Yeah, it's very, very creamy. Quality content. Uh, Boise oh, bites for you. I'm getting a little hit of citrus. Hit of citrus in there. Citrus. I don't, I don't know if it's lemon, which would make sense and oh, be thematic. I mean. Or if it's like orange. On brand. <laughs> on brand. Yeah. Um, what did you get? So I got the beet salad. Beet and salad. it comes with, uh, it's a, I think, mixed greens and then as a sa most salads do have um if you didn't know uh mixed greens i think pickled onions pickled yeah. onions mm -hmm. yo that sounds and then dead. um or caramelized i can't really tell i'll be able to tell you right now that's pickled it's and pickled. then <laughs> and then there's a uh, balsamic dressing i believe that comes with it some walnuts and then their vegan feta which is from the brand Violife, if anyone cares. The but vegans make, out there care. They make the best cheese, so don't screw around with Daya. Just don't do it, unless you want a Daya. <laughs> yeah. Just go for Violife. Okay, hold up. I'm about to mess the game up right here. Okay. Like, this isn't a grilled cheese, which would be very normal uh -huh. for dippage, but yeah. it's a cold sandwich, so we'll see how it goes. They have a yam and cheese there that is mm. fire with the soup. It's like a grilled cheese, but with like a twist. And then with the tomato soup, it's the combo. I'm gonna have to try that next time. Yeah, it's very but good. But this. Is it hitting it, the spot? It's hitting right. It's treating me right. It's treating you right. <laughs> it's giving my mouth a little good. mouth massage. You know? mm, mm, mm -hmm. After I got a little beat up, you know, a little Hulk Hogan action, hitting above the belt. Yep. <laughs> hitting oh. above the belt. Get below the belt, <laughs> brother. Okay, I get a hit of feta. Mm hmm A hit. Everything's a hit with it, you. It's a hit, bro. Mm. Mm. Yep. Try uh, Okay, so try that now, and premium. I'm curious if you can tell the difference between actual cheese. I don't think I got a beet. Let me get a beet. Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's also beets in it, hence beet okay. salad. I like the beet. It's a little sweet. Mm -hmm. But not too much. It doesn't beat you over the head with it. Mm -hmm. mm. Got you. You're really getting to the root, you know, of the flavors there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very earthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's dangerous, oh, yeah. actually, because that's actually a salad that I want to keep eating, which is mm -hmm. rare for me with salad. All right. It is rating time. <clears throat> All right. So for overall rating, you want to start with the vibe? The vibe vibe and environment yeah so it'd be like service do you want to do how speedy it was yeah sure okay sweet so how they're kind of set up is you obviously walk up to the front of the counter and then um 
you know, make your order and everything. They have a whole line um, where they build all the sandwiches right in front of you. It's pretty cool to watch it, especially from their um, upper level on the inside of the space. It's pretty cool, pretty open, pretty fresh. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah, the openness is nice. Like mm -hmm. having like a secondary floor loft area really impressed me. Mm -hmm. That's like a very like, I feel like nice date spot. If you mm -hmm. want to take someone on a date or just kind of chill private. laid back. It's a little more private. Mm -hmm. um, very woody. There's a lot of wood used throughout the restaurant. And yeah. I like wood. <laughs> wood is good. Do you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, um... <laughs> That's a slapper. That's a bench slapper right there. Oh yeah, it is. Get a couple more in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a really wide open space. Um, it's uh, on 10th and Bannock and right across from District. So if you need a little pick me up, a little coffee before and or after your sandwich. Oh yeah. It's right there. Um, the service was really good. It was, d despite how busy it is, we went right around like lunchtime, like yeah. peak lunchtime. Mm -hmm. um, they got our food out, they took our orders quick, got it out really quick. We were very helpful even with our extra demands of me asking a bunch of questions, never being there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And they're always super friendly, willing to help. And yeah. the owner, Jason Parra, was in there. Really cool guy, let us film. So thank you very much, Lemon Shout Tree. Out. Shout out. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely got a good environment. They got a little patio area if you don't feel like sitting inside, if you want to get some sun. Um, but very cool, relaxed space. I'd. Out of a five, I'd give it a solid like four, four and a half for space. I, I like it. Space, uh, service, all the above. If we're if we're keeping it, we're ranking it merely against its brethren of like fast casual like takeout places. Mm -hmm. I think I give it a four and a half as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's pretty up there, right? It's, it's kind of hard to beat that. Like service think, quality. Yeah. Yeah, I think for it to get a five for me because it is a little bit more of a smaller space. When mm -hmm. they do get swamped, sometimes there's not a place yeah. to sit. That's my only thing. But other than that, service is fantastic. I could see that. Space is really cool. Yeah. I concur. Yeah, sweet. Um, for bang for buck, um, what are you feeling? Bang for buck, so the sandwich, sandwiches are like, a little spendier than the average like takeout sandwich so it's like 10 to 12 bucks mm -hmm. but you get a lot of food and massive you, and you get like a dank side to choose from mm -hmm. um which they have soups and the quality salads. is really good it's pretty healthy from what i can tell mm -hmm. um <laughs> uh i'm gonna i think i'm going 3.5 on bang for buck all right i mean it's not the most value, but it's like pretty good. Wow. It's like, um, quality's there. Okay. All right, well, not Place to parrot world. what you said, but I also was thinking 3.5. 3.5? Yeah. Shoot. Well, we're Maybe just... 3.65. D there you go, just a little bit. That'll be hard to factor in the end, but <laughs> I'll let you do that. <laughs> All right. All right, math whiz. Um, all right, so. And then like. Taste? Yeah, just like the overall quality and taste. Yeah. It's, it's pretty banging, dude. Like, pretty damn salt. I, that's a five for me. Like if you're experimental with your food choices, if you're not, if you're wanting something with a twist, go into Lemon Tree, because they got it. I don't know if I do quite five yet. It could get there, but I think I'll give it a 4.5. Okay, solid. So what's that put us, overall rating? <sighs> overall rating, uh, calculating. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, we have our individual numbers, and our totals are boop, 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 boop. right here. Right here. Yep. Um, we'll see how they compare to the uh, future places we're going to be checking out on oh, Boise yeah. Bites. There will be more. Mm -hmm. We're going to be exploring um, some burgers, some pizza, all the classics, some iconic Boise spots. Yes. More to come. Oh yeah. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling good. pretty, pretty full? satisfied. Pre pretty satisfied. Nice. All right. Sounds good. Adios, Boise. See you on the next episode.